Hmm. Let's see. So the past, we have the six of cups in reverse, the judgment in reverse and the fool here. So I feel that there was someone here in the past year who you had um, a fallout with. This is definitely uh, your ex or someone from your past. But this is someone here, you know, who you're holding a grudge against. Okay, this person could have been behaving very, very immature with you, repeating a lot of same negative patterns over and over again. There was a lack of decision making in the past year, okay? Someone was, I think, you know, doing the same thing, trying to expect different results here. Um, this is also someone here, you know, who was, um, how do I say this? You know, a lot of indecisiveness, you know, fear of making the wrong decision here is what I'm getting here, which is why you chose to let this connection go. You were probably sticking to your comfort zone all this while, but I think finally you chose to let this go and you chose to have a brand new beginning on your own without this person is what I'm getting here. Okay. I don't think you were with this person. You just went to ahead to move on to start a new chapter in your life. All right. And uh, there was this trust and faith in the universe that this is the right decision for you. But this was all because there was just uh, no decision making in the past. If this person wasn't giving you the clear intentions, which was leaving a bad taste in your mouth. In the current situation, we have the justice in reverse with a hermit and the four of wands. There is a sense of being imbalanced here, okay? There's this blame game going on is also what I'm getting here. Maybe they're blaming you for you not making things right or they're blaming you, you're blaming them. There's a blame game here. Someone is not ready to take accountability for their actions out here and there's a sense of ghosting. So yeah, one person here is, you know, has pretty much disconnected themselves from you, okay? You both could be in no communication right now. But with the four of wands here, someone is definitely wanting to re-establish the stability, the security in this connection out here. This could also be you who's ghosted this person here and trying to find that stability, security within yourself here, trying to find, you know, uh, count your blessings and be happy where you are. Anyways, we'll get to that. I'll find out more about that. In the near future, we have the five of cups, the knight of wands in reverse and the moon in reverse here. So I feel that this person out here that you're dealing with here does want to come back towards you, you know, wanting some attention from you. But this person out here is coming towards you while overthinking, while still holding on to the regret from the past out here. Okay. Uh, with the moon in reverse here, I feel that this person here is having a hard time trusting their intuition here. And there's um, a lot more confusion because this person does not trust their gut feeling here. Okay. But the moon in reverse is also telling me that there could be some kind of release of fear, stress and anxiety in the near future here. Things will be much more clear in the future. Okay. If they are not right now here with a hermit here, because this person is probably in isolation right now. Let's see. Your blockage out here is the four of pentacles here for the from now until the end of July 2021. So this is telling you that your biggest blockage or your biggest challenge is going to be to stay closed off to this person here. I feel if this person is coming back towards you, you either stay closed off, just block yourself, block your heart chakra, okay? Because this person could be someone you who's broken your trust not once, not twice, but a lot of times, okay? And every time you give in to the situation, whenever this person comes back. So your um, challenge out here is to holding on to things, okay? Just just don't let go. Don't 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 let go of um, your pride or don't have to change for anyone else. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Hold on and have a tight grip on how you think things should be. And there is no harm in doing that. Okay. All right, let's see. Why is the four of pentacles here as the challenge? Why is the four of pentacles here as the challenge? Yeah, your challenge here is that yes, there is a very, very strong connection that is coming towards you, okay? But um, don't take a risk right now. You need to walk away right now with the seven of swords here. If not walking, walking away, at least try to hold back your emotions, okay? Because this is a very strong connection that's coming in from you from now until the end of July 2021. It's going to be tough here. You got to stay in stealth mode right now. Okay, because if you give in, there are chances this person will probably repeat the same cycle again and again. Because like I said, with the two of cups, it's a strong connection here. This is someone who you've been dealing with in the past who screwed you over, right? So yeah, it's asking you not to take a risk, stay closed off and try and be very strategic about the way you are, okay? Just just don't be emotional, stay logical and uh, make a very head over heart decision. 
because the, the problem here is the connection you know it's not a new person that you know you can just like let that person go it's a connection that you feel so strongly with this person all right in the past with the six of cups in reverse judgment and reverse and the fool here i want to see what's the judgment in reverse in the past what's the judgment in reverse in the past Someone wanted to stay emotionally very, very detached. So there was this sense of wanting to be in a committed relationship or someone wanted the commitment, okay, with you. But the problem here is this person was staying emotionally detached. This person was very, very fearful of wanting to be vulnerable or very fearful of, um, you know, like some kind of sadness or pain that would cause them if they open up to you, if they tell you what they really want with you and they were trying to conceal their emotions as much as they could, okay. The moon in reverse is telling me that someone was trying to suppress their emotions as much as they could. Okay, which is again happening here with the moon in reverse in the near future here. This person probably, um, yeah, I feel this person has a lot of fear in their head. Okay, and they're not being able to um, get out of that fear. Uh, in the current situation, we have the justice in reverse, the hermit and the four of wands. What's the hermit? What's the hermit? What's the hermit? Someone out here, you know, it's like, you know what, I'm too old for this shit. Is what I'm getting here. Why is the hermit here? Like you don't want to play the same games again and again with them. What's the hermit here? You're just trying to get a lot more clarity. Yeah, so you've made a final decision here. I think with the seven of pentacles in reverse here, you feel something is a waste of time. This is you. I feel this is you who's saying, you know what, I'm too old for this shit. I don't want to repeat past patterns here. I know things are not fair. Something's just not, you know, bringing in balance here. This person has probably lied, cheated, or just not done what is right for this connection here. You're just being very, very practical, very sensible, very realistic, very focused on your own stability, security, focused on yourself, focused on maintaining that balance in yourself here. And, you know, I think you're very stubborn in a way. Uh, you want something very very uh, conservative uh, something very traditional out here with the devil here i feel that you're dealing with a very toxic connection and you know that you know that and hence with the judgment here i feel you're making a decision to close this chapter or making a final decision to just close yourself off to this connection instead of giving it any more to this okay because you think it's like you put in so much work and uh, you're just not getting the fruits of your labor something's just not coming into fruition here because this person refuses to open up this person refuses to talk to you they're just not ready to communicate okay their emotions in the future, we have the Five of Cups, the Knight of Wands in reverse, and the Moon in reverse here, okay? So, in the future, this person still continues trying over spilt milk. They still continue to have a lot of regret about what went wrong between you both here. Uh, what's the Knight of Wands in reverse? Why is this here? Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse here? This person wants to try and avoid drama. They want to be more illogical. They want to be more rational. They want to deal only with the facts and logic out here. And this person is not really the best at um, approaching relationships, okay? They try to keep their head over heart. And uh, they want to try and avoid any kind of drama, any kind of competition. I think it's more of drama. This person does not like too much drama out here. They know that if they come towards you and communicate with you, there's going to be so much drama. You're probably going to, you know, like... Um, they're going to hear a lot of music from you. And um, they don't want so much chaos and conflict anymore. They want to probably compromise. But in a way, instead of compromising here, this person's more like, you know what? But the end of wants here, this person has so much of stress. It's all self-inflicted is what I'd say. There's so much of self-inflicted stress from this person's side. But they're doing it to themselves by being logical here. Why? Because like I said, right? This person does not want to stay emotionally vulnerable. So they're just choosing to, uh, you know, convince themselves that this is the right thing to do. And probably they don't want to be in and out of your life here. Okay. With the Ten of Wands here, this is too much for them. They're breaking their own heart, but they just want to do because it's probably the more logical thing to do rather than approaching relationships with uh, any kind of emotional maturity. What's the moon in reverse here? What's the moon in reverse? So that's just so stupid the hierophant in reverse here with the two of swords this person's wanting to block you out okay this person here is still non-committal you know it's like i'm getting this person here wants to do what they want to do 
okay they don't want to give in they don't want to compromise and it's like they know you're not going to compromise so we got like a butch fest going on here you know you don't want to compromise you want to do what you got to do you're focusing on yourself you made a final decision it's an over and out from you you plot the building this person here still chooses to cry whisper knock out here they want to be more logical and they want to try and um you know keep their uh, emotions out of this okay and with the moon in reverse here i feel that this person out here is suppressing their emotions they have a lot of emotions for you a lot of love for you but they choose to watch you from a distance and they're still not taking action here even if they want to take action here because ace of wands in reverse is telling me they're lacking the initiative they still don't take the initiative to come towards you here okay that's what i'm getting here but with the nine of cups i feel this person is breaking their own heart but they choose to be happy you know it's like they're trying to find contentment within themselves instead of approaching you okay although you are their happiness they're trying to find happiness within themselves like you know like i'm happy i'm okay on my own you know five of swords see there's so much sabotage going on okay the outcome here with the magician here the page of cups in reverse and the king of swords here okay all right so someone clearly is wanting to manifest this they're manifesting this connection here what's the page of cups in reverse still very mature they want to avoid a disaster out here you know this person is holding on to their pride because you're not focused on them here they still won't open up they still won't open up they're still indecisive because they're losing hope right they're losing optimism here this person lacks optimism here this person is not being able to see that this this relationship can still be salvaged okay and i think it's probably because you made a final decision here they can feel that energetically probably there's just is radio silence between both of you okay there's just no communication from your side here so this person is losing that hope they probably feel it's never going to work out again you know and uh, which is why you know it's that fear this your person is very fearful of commitment fearful of making the wrong decision fear of the unknown whatever it is and which is why you know they constantly keep convincing themselves that this is the right thing to do whereas they know it's not the right thing to do they're just being an escapist here with the seven of swords so it's here you know they're very confident they're doing the right thing overconfident is what i say they know it's the wrong thing to do you know they know it's the wrong thing to do they know the right thing is to approach you the correct way but they won't do it pride ego whatever that is very egoistic energy here someone you know who is still not being able to see like the glass is half full and which is why they still are holding back in as the outcome here what's the king of swords what's the king of swords wow this person wow really this person out here is just relying on their logic right now more than logic they are just so like you know what i feel that this person out here that you're dealing with this person is so dependent on their act you know it's like a defense system that this person has by thinking about things you know this is a very overthinker very deep thinker out here this person makes their um their characteristic of not wanting to display their emotions it becomes like their defense system they want to use a very calm and controlled approach okay and uh by being very cold and distant distant out here they're breaking their own heart again i'm getting here they're still moving they're probably you know wanting to move forward out here okay because again they don't have they second guessing themselves they still doubt themselves if they can ma make it happen with you the chariot in reverse is a lot of doubt here this person is still not sure about what to do with this connection and how to move things forward out here you know this is someone here who needs a lot of counseling someone here who needs to know you know a lot like hey i'm there for you this can work out here or something like that but they're feeling very discouraged very defeated by life you know they don't know how to overcome the challenges that have kept them stuck right now but i feel this person is experiencing a lot of self doubt and the belief that they cannot successfully uh, make this happen right now to get the results that they want here
very distract i don't think this is distracted i just feel this person here is just trying to sabotage the connection by being more logical instead of opening up emotionally and breaking their heart that's what they think that they'll break their heart or probably that you won't give them a second chance out here i'm just gonna say this is sabotage this is sabotage this, no matter how much of the king of swords is there this is just a defense system not to let your emotions overpower your logic or not to get emotionally overwhelmed or not to um, be emotionally vulnerable that that's just what it is this has nothing to do with you this is just how this person has always been i feel this person has had a series of breakups you know they probably choose to be with people who they are not afraid of getting attached to or who they will not get attached to there is no one like you and probably this person is probably even finding you and everyone else but they realize that no one compares to you which is why they would probably go out party you know chill hang out but they would not really come to you because they know that that attachment and the connection is so strong that's what i'm getting here i hope this reading resonates leave your comments below and i'll see you next time bye bye